Hi, I'm Dale Cowan, Agronomy Strategy Manager and Senior Agronomist with Agris and Wanstead Farmers Cooperatives. Hey, we're going to continue on with our video series on crop production. Um, we're going to uh, do a, a series, uh, some of them on biostimulants, among other things. And one of the first ones I want to cover today is, is uh, nitrogen fixers, in particular a product called Invita. It is a new biological uh, nitrogen fixation product uh, developed by Azotics in, uh, in the UK. It's been distributed through the U.S. by a company called Yieldmaster Solutions and Growmark. Uh, it will work on numerous crops. Corn, soybeans, and wheat is what we're interested in, actually. Uh, it can be seed trenched, applied in the row with a low-salt pop-up fertilizer, or applied foliar in the early V stages of, of crop growth, which is what we're focusing on for this year. It is, it is a bacteria that colonizes every single cell in the plant, allows the plants to fix a certain amount of atmospheric nitrogen through the leaves and roots, it will supplement, or we think it will supplement and buffer the total end supply in a field. It does work 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and as long as the plant's alive, it'll, it'll, fix, it'll be fixing nitrogen. So when we think about nitrogen fixation, we quite often think about soybeans and rhizobia and inoculant. And, and so I just thought a quick general comparison between a rhizobia versus uh, something like Invita. Uh, would be worthwhile. So in soybeans, we have a very specific strain of uh, rhizobia for soybeans, where Invita will colonize a number of different crops, so it's not crop specific. Uh, nodules can take weeks to develop, a matter of days, and the plants that once they're uh, sprayed with Invita, they'll be fixing nitrogen in a few days. Uh, the total end supply with uh, rhizobia is very significant. The nodules will fix significant amounts of nitrogen in soybeans, up to two-thirds of the nitrogen fixed by nodules. Where in Vita, it's more of a partner in the nitrogen supply. The plants are still taking up the commercial land that's been applied and, and from organic sources or the organic matter uh, and other sources. So it's going to be a partner in the nitrogen supply. Uh, mode of action, you know, nodules colonize outside the roots where in Vita is throughout the plant. Uh, the tissue colonized tends to be the roots. Well, it is the roots on soybeans and it's throughout the plant again, uh, roots and, and, and shoots on, uh, on Vita will be, uh, will be colonized. Later on, uh, as the soybean plant ages, the, the nodules become less active as we get into later reproductive stages, whereas Invita will still be fixing nitrogen right up until the day that, uh, that the plant uh, dies from, from natural causes. So that's just a quick comparison between a, a rhizobia that we're familiar with and what this new product uh, is all about. So Yieldmaster in the U.S. Uh, was quite uh, generous and, sit and shared some of their data with me. So I'm just going to highlight one of the plots, which I find interesting. It's a, a nitrogen rate trial, three different rates with and without Invita at uh, 80, 130, and 180. So let's just quickly look at that. So if we focus on the ADN, uh, ADN only gave us 138, almost 139 bushels. And when they added in Vita, we got a 33 or 32.9 bushel boost in yield. So it does demonstrate the ability to fix nitrogen uh, because it's increasing the yields. We look at the next rate of 130, similar sort of thing, a much greater boost in, in yield of, a, of another 53, almost 54 bushels more corn. And even at the high rate of 180 actual N, the Invita still added 4.4 bushels the acre in more yield. So what's significant there, that, that today's price is that's $30 more corn per acre, and the cost of Invita is just under $13 an acre. So it is a significant return on investment uh, with, with adding Invita, even at the high end rates, which is very intriguing. So when I look at the, their two-year data they shared with it, this is just farmers doing side-by-side -side field comparisons, just simply throwing Invita on top of their normal nitrogen program and just measuring yield response. So 79% of the time, they got about an eight bushel response on average on the responsive plot. So intriguing enough, interesting for us to uh, emulate the trials here, here in Ontario. So uh, we're going to focus on foliar applications at V2 to V6 on corn. We need six hours for it to be rain fast. We're going to add in the uh, uh, stick and stay uh, adjuvant to make sure it stays around, gets absorbed. We're doing a number of rate trials. This will help us understand the effectiveness of, of Invita on corn. So we've hired uh, Hannah Brooksbank. She is our project manager for this year. She's in charge of a very extensive uh, trial network of side-by-sides and nitrogen rate trials. She'll be doing a video later on explaining uh, in quite detail what uh, what our project's all about and what she's managing there. So 
Uh, last year, you remember I did 22 videos, I think it was, on managing nitrogen as a system. So we know end management is quite complicated, but it really, it can come down to two basic questions. Do I have a end supply problem or an end demand problem? So on the supply side, did I put enough N on? Am I counting for the losses? Do I have uh, my yield goal figured out as close as I can? And uh, am I putting on enough N? Then the second question is, when you get weather that's conducive at grain fill time, you extend the grain fill period, you increase the demand for nitrogen and other nutrients. So the question becomes is, Quite often, we don't know whether we got a supply demand situation until the end of the year to we see how things worked out. So we're kind of looking at, kind of curious about whether or not Invita can actually buffer the end supply where we don't have to worry about running out of nitrogen, that uh, if we put on a reasonable rate of end as close as we can, and then uh, hopefully Invita can do the heavy lifting at the end of the season if the demand is there. So that's that's the question. That's what we want to, that's what our curiosity, that's what we want to be able to answer. So there's lots to learn. Uh, this is all part of us bringing you what's next, uh, what's the new technology showing us. And so um, until next time, uh, we'll be bringing you more updates on Invita. Hannah will be uh, doing some reports throughout the year. So uh, until then, stay healthy, stay safe. Thanks for listening.